Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader Journey. Thanks very much for joining me on yet another video. Just before we get into this video, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, which is Trader Journey underscore official, make sure you follow me there as I do give tips and tricks every day and I do upload many updates on my story. So be sure to check out my Instagram at Trader Journey underscore official. So let's get straight into this video, guys. So as you can tell from the title, I did make $200 from Netflix. We are still live in the trading day. I have finished trading for the day. I just wanted to provide you guys a recap and some hopefully some learning, um, some, something you can learn from this video and this scalp um, as to what I did in this trade and how I made such quick profit within two minutes. And um, just keep in mind today, guys, was zero DTE contracts. What I mean by that is there was zero days till expiration as the market is not open tomorrow um, for New Year's Eve. Um, so it was really exciting to see this move. I saw it coming. Um, I could have potentially made more, but I just wanted to prove to you guys that you only need to be in these trades for a few minutes when scalping certain stocks. And um, in particular, as it's zero days till expiration, the implied volatility on these contracts is spiked really high. So any change in the stock price will, will cause a massive um, price change in your con un un underlying contract price. So I want to talk you through this trade very quickly. So as the market opened, we had a huge rally with Netflix and I believe it's expected. I'm quite bullish on Netflix considering we're having so many more lockdowns and people have nothing to do but watch Netflix. So I'm quite bullish on Netflix for the next few months, um, even year. But I'm just going to show, show you guys what exactly happened. So we saw this rally and it, it came into this, um, it rejected a level which I have here on the chart, which was 53949. Now I missed the whole move from market open, which was huge. Um, and I saw it creating this bull flag. Now, when it created this bull flag, you could say this was maybe a, a rising wedge or a rising pennant. Um, I'm just going to quickly draw on this graph. I didn't even have this on the graph, but I'm just going to put here for the purposes of evaluating this trade. Um, just give me one second. So, yes. So, I mean, there was a rising wedge here and I knew there was going to be a breakout, which it did. And I just want to show you guys how big the move actually was and how long I was actually in the trade. So as it broke above this sort of area here, I had it charted, but I've removed it. I had this area charted as well because that's the breakout line. Um, and I knew with this rising with this rising wedge, we're either going to see a break to the upside or break to the downside. I could see from my indicators that buyers were buyers were way higher than sellers there were so many more buyers in the market for netflix than sellers um, the indicator below shows that the blue line is the level of buyers the red line is the level of sellers so when you have um, a crossover from higher buyers to sellers you expect the price to rise it's simple supply and demand and likewise if you see the price fall under under sellers you expect the price to drop down so this indicator is really good if anyone wants to know what it is let me know in the comments but wherever you've got a red line that is showing that sellers are active in the market and are higher than buyers if you've got a blue that just shows buyers are higher than your sellers so i knew there was more buyers in the market so i was expecting to see a breakout to the upside so as this pennant was forming this rising wedge if you would like to call it i was watching watching in the market for this breakout above that previous high of day and what we saw was i waited and waited and as we broke above that area i realized this is the time to enter and my stop loss was set my stop loss was set because i knew below the line here and as we were trading zero td zero dte the losses come a lot quicker so you have to set a very tight stop loss with scalping, which is which adds to the fact that you should only be in these trades for two to three minutes. So as I saw that breakout, I quickly entered at the break and I exited right here at 542.18. So I'm going to mark that on the chart here and show you exactly what happened. Now, the reason why that was a key area, I saw there were sellers sitting at that particular level. So I quickly entered and exited. That was a two minute scalp. Um, you can tell, you can see here, we're on the one minute chart, guys. So I, it, it could be argued that I was in there for less than two minutes. It was probably a minute and a half because this candle, I entered halfway through the forming of this candle. 
it it went it went up and that that in itself was a, a dollar and a half move two dollar move which was enough to make two hundred dollars on this particular scalp now if i had held which would have been a risky very risky um i could have potentially made a thousand dollars on this particular move but it's just too risky because as you see this reversal here this could come straight back into the triangle and maybe even drop below so you don't want to risk that when you're scalping um, contracts you want to be in and out two three minutes maximum and avoid and have a very tight stop loss so when scalping it's exciting it's fun but um, very risky as well so you need to be confident in the setups which you're trading and make sure you enter and exit in the quickest way possible now Netflix is obviously very bullish right now so I'm considering potentially buying some shares it is going to be um, definitely a flyer during lockdowns coronavirus and if it if the vaccine news is causing more delays then I do think Netflix is going to be one that's going to continue to rally um, in other news guys just before I end it here for today's trading I do want to show you what was happening with Facebook now I charted Facebook perfectly um, I had this area of demand previously charted because we saw huge rallies above this area of demand it was previously a supply zone so I was watching it very carefully um, but for me this is a very active area where buyers are sitting I was watching this area very carefully to see if it rejected and it did so just as market opened um, we saw it's down to the penny guys There's, you can't get these levels any cleaner than they are but we saw rejection at 27178 straight in the demand zone it didn't even fall into the demand zone it rejected and we saw a huge rally now if you want to go back to historical levels you can see that's happened before previously as i said this was previously a supply zone as it broke through this was considered for me a very active demand zone as we saw huge rallies back up to supply so what i'm expecting here is we saw this we saw this rally all the way up to 27704 now i'm actively charting these particular stocks because it's stocks that i trade on an everyday basis so now that i've got this charted for me this is now a new supply area which is something that needs to be considered so I would simply chart this as an area of supply because you can see from previous um, historical levels we've seen big sell-offs back into demand um, so for me this is a sort of intraday level for supply and demand um, we can see here it seems to be rejecting again but it's not quite in the demand area so we might see this fall further um, as I said the market is still live and um, I thought to make this video very quickly so we may see this rally back up to um, supply but that is the move that you wanted to catch in this particular trade it was um, it was an exciting move and a very quick move this is on the one minute chart if I showed you guys this on the 15 minute chart you can see it a bit more clearer straight green candle straight rejection um, on either side so you could have played this and look at the move guys if you entered here and saved 272 you could have caught 276 so considering that's four dollars zero dte contracts the the money the profit percentage is insane so i mean these levels are perfect they don't really miss you want to continue to using continue to use these levels and use them to your advantage this is my edge in the market and it works for me so i will continue to use what works best for me along with my other strategies now you can see obviously several indicators on here which i use but i use different strategies depending on how the market is reacting and what i need to be looking at um, so that's all i really want to cover on this video today i hope you got some value uh, as to how i scalp and hopefully you guys can implement a similar strategy if you are looking to learn more or follow my signals and trades i do have a community that is now live i'll leave the link in the description box below um, it is capped at 40 members unfortunately i will look to increase it at some point but for now it is going to be a very limited group as i want to make it a personal experience so everyone can learn and reach me if they need any help so if you have any questions as well feel free to dm me on instagram or leave it in the comment section below and i will catch you all on the next video thanks so much for watching take care goodbye